All right, everybody, welcome back. We haven't done a opening in a while, so that's what we're going to do today. And we're going to do the whole series, so please follow if you want to keep seeing uh, the openings like these. Uh, like it if you like it, and let me know which kind of content you do enjoy. But today we're going to start with the uh, latest secret layer that actually has arrived. Secret layer drop series. Mark Poole, foil edition, artist series. So the packaging is different from the other ones. Um, oh, look at that. Thank you for being a part of a secret layer. All right, and then, oh, okay, so you still do have the black box inside. Making sure there isn't anything else in there. It's trash, I can't put that back, but we'll save that <clears throat> for later. Secret layer, foil edition. And it looks like it just comes out. Okay, so they say it's less, but it seems like there's more to it because now I got a nice little box with a case. A nice, and then yeah, so without further ado, let's delve in. And okay, so they still got the secret card underneath. And ugh. So I don't know how much I enjoy that sticky, 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 sticky tape, but all right, so the contents of the pack. Obviously, you saw the balance. We got a little bit more trash here. If I can open it. Okay, where are my tweezers? Where are my lucky tweezers? I don't even see my tweezers. I forgot to grab my tweezers, guys. You know what I do have, though? I have a little screw. So we'll just... Okay, maybe I was like, we'll just do this across there. No, these things are sealed for your protection. All right. So we got the balance card, which, and then remember, these are foil editions. So you got the foil gleam and that sword, the, the, the top of that sword. Just look at the top of that sword, guys. That is freaky deaky. All right, so balance. It's card number one. We got brainstorm, which I believe is like banned in every format now so but again the foiling on it is really really cool the way they did it look at the armor on the dude the secret is simply to know what you're going to do before you even see the possibilities and that is from porlo por Porlimoco, Mind Mage. Ooh, I wonder if that character is going to be in the upcoming uh, Kamigawa, Neon Dynasty. And then, of course, guys, the classic. That's going right into the collection binder. Counterspell. The other cards you will find on either TCG, Macari, or eBay, wherever I decide to post them. So please follow the links below if you want to snag some of these cards up. Uh, while you can, except for the counter spell, the counter spell is not going anywhere. And then we got Birds of Paradise, guys. Look at that classic Birds of Paradise. I mean, you can't get much more classic, iconic than the counter spell and the birds. You just can't. Howling Mine, again, another classic. And and your opponent never ever wants to destroy your Howling Mine because it's giving them cards too. So. And I think last but not least, and I love the artwork on this, guys, the Wasteland. You can kind of see the ruined, uh, I don't know if you'd call that like house or village right there in the foreground. The library, it's the library. The library scrolls have long since crumbled into swirling deserts. I wonder if that's the Library of Alexandria. I wonder if that's what that's supposed to be. But anyways, so what do you guys think? Which, which one is your favorite out of those? Oh, wait, that's right. I forgot. We get the, the the freebie card. I wouldn't call it freebie. You're still paying for it. but and So they got... Oh, okay. How did that... Oh, okay. It was a... Okay, I like the way they did that. Instead of 
the sticky buns on the, on the tops on the, on that. They had the sticky buns on the bottom. Okay, I can handle that. I can, or yeah, they had it on the top instead of, and then they had just a little slider so you don't ruin the card. That's pretty awesome, wizards. Though I still don't like the sticky sticky buns there. What do you guys think it'll be? Do you think it'll be a unique card? Is, are they only in the Frexian Praetors? Which I am opening both foil and non-foil versions of Frexian Praetors. So you will see that as well. But I don't know. What do you guys think? And it is. Another brainstorm. Why, why give me a... Oh, wait. Hold it. That is in black and white. I wonder if that's, uh, I'll have to look it up. I'll have to look and see if that's actually the way it is in all of the, uh, um, the Mark Poole ones, foil edition, if they're all brainstorm or if they're just like, uh, uh, etched version of it. Why did I open that? Oh, well, it's too late now. I already cracked it open, but I wanted to see it better. Yeah. See, it's just black and white with the foil. Well, that's interesting enough. Yeah, we'll put it. I don't want to put it on the sticky. Put it right here. So, what do you guys think? What's your favorite out of the group? Once again, all of these except for the counter spell. The counter spell is going to my personal collection. Uh, and if you have any counter spells, feel free to send them to me. I collect counter spells. I currently have 500 and some, 587, I think. But, anyways, like the birds is just, I love the classic iconic birds. Um, obviously the counter spell. The Wasteland art, and I like how it refers to the Library of Alexandria. Brainstorm, and potentially that character will be in the upcoming uh, Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. Balance is just, the sword is cool. That's all I gotta say. Um, anyways guys, once again, that's all it is for this video. A quick 10 minute video on each of these secret layers. Uh, we'll post them day by day. Again, let me know what you like, what you don't like, uh, and follow me on all my various platforms, especially if you want any of these cards on Macari, uh, eBay, and TCG Player. So as always, guys, please take care of yourselves, and more importantly, remember, please always take care of each other.